What's going on guys, it's Stuffy here, back with another tutorial. It's been a while since I've posted my last tutorial, uh, which I'm realizing it's mainly just been Project Handball stuff. But I'm kind of burnt out of Project Handball right now, I think I went a little bit too hard developing it. Uh, so I'm gonna take a break from that series for a little bit. As you can tell, I haven't uploaded in like a week. Um, school's kicking my ass right now, but we'll manage. Anyways, I have a kind of unconventional tutorial here. Uh, it's how to make a RNG crate system. Uh, which is something I've never touched on this channel before, uh, but I've been toying around uh, with the idea of implementing one into Project Swift. Or not Project Swift, Project Handball. So I, I personally really like like RNG cosmetic things. As long as it isn't like pay to win and whatever, I think having like an RNG system in your game is not the worst thing in the world. And today I'll show you how to implement one into your Roblox game. It's actually relatively simple. This is gonna only be the backbone though. If you wanna add like a GUI for rolling and everything, then be my guest. Uh, you'll probably have to have your own basic knowledge of scripting to do that. If you wanna have like a button so it like you manually roll the uh, crate and everything, which is obviously what you're gonna probably wanna do. Um, then you're gonna have to know how to use like a remote event and everything and whatnot. It's not that difficult to implement, but I'm just gonna show you how the RNG part of it would work. And without further ado, let's get started. Since I'm not creating any cosmetics or having like any GUI, we're actually only gonna have two scripts. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Uh, the first script, both of the scripts are gonna be under server script service, but the first one is just gonna be a normal server script. Uh, and then the next one is going to be a module script inside of the server script. I personally just keep the module script inside of the server script for convenience sake. Obviously, if you have the same script that's being used for multiple crates or whatever, then you can have it in just server scripts. But I personally keep it under script, like the normal server script. And yeah, that's all we really need to create uh, for this entire thing. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to use the output um just to see like how the rng is working and whatnot if you don't have the output go to view and then go click on output it's right up here uh and you'll be able to have it in the bottom usually and yeah all we need to do is we need to script now so i'll script parts of it and then i'll come back to you guys and explain the script can you guys tell i'm sick by the way like my allergies are killing me right now yeah, my name doesn't lie i do have a stuffy nose by the way i'm gonna first code the module script before i code the server script because you know it's for convenience sake on my end so the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to establish uh the rarities that we want and the percentage chance that we want that rarity to appear so basically what i have here is i have seven tiers uh because i personally like having a seven tier rarity system it just allows for more like you know possible options and whatnot it's a personal preference you don't need to have uh exactly seven rarities uh but i'll get i'll explain what the biggest part of the rarity system is in a second and why i have a specific numbers like here and whatnot so basically what we have is we have the rarity so like mythic is going to be the rarest we have the rarity out of a thousand here so if you want it to be out of 100, because you only have like 4 or 5 rarities, 3, 4, 5 rarities or whatnot, um, you can make it out of 100. And in here, I have just have a comment like for myself, like what the actual percentage, vary, uh, percentage of the rarity is and whatnot. Um, and this is basically just like what percent chance do you have at getting this rarity. The biggest part when you're assigning rarity uh, values is to make sure they add up to whatever the random number you're gonna choose uh ends up being so i have all of this uh added up to a thousand because i mean if you if you're using a rarity system and it isn't just a factor of 10 as like the highest number possible then what are you doing man you're just putting yourself through unnecessary math but yeah basically just make sure it all adds up to uh, a specific number because that's going to be the max number that you choose to randomly assign the variable uh to you know get the rarity i'll code a little bit more and then i'll come back and explain it a little bit more just to make sure it makes sense and let's get to the second part which is actually assigning uh rarity to items and that's this that i have right here so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the rarity that is pulled out by the function that we're gonna write next up and we're gonna get a list of possible items assigned to that rarity so what we're gonna do here is we have 
like you know mythic it's only the one item it's black hole uh very creative item names i know um but yeah we have four items in the common uh category three items in uncommon three items in rare so on and so forth obviously you're gonna probably want the rarest rarity to have the least amount of items because the rarest rarity is gonna get chosen the least by the computer and yeah that's basically it we're gonna choose a random item from this rarity uh if you only want one item per rarity uh you can change whatever and by the way when you're trying to make this actual items and whatnot uh you're gonna want to make sure that you have a folder of things in like either replicated storage or server storage and you're just gonna replicate that so it will be like instead of like text here it would be like a list that's kind of like this and like let's say we have a folder named parts uh in server scripts uh or server storage and you just do parts dot common dot and then let's say it's the same name so droplet and that would be for common and whatnot and then you just loop through it like uh the rest of the list so part dot common dot rock and so on and so forth that's how you'd make it um items instead of just text Overly repeating myself aside, let's get to actually choosing the random number that will assign a rarity. That's what we do here. So basically what we do is this is a variable, a local random. It will get a random number in between one and a thousand. That's why I wanted all of these numbers over here to add up to a thousand because that's the max number that we pull. Uh, make sure, like I said earlier, that this number is equal to all of these odds added up. I can't stress that enough. If you don't, then you have the possibility of completely bricking your game. But yeah, anyways, then we set a counter, kind of like an index uh, variable, uh, just to actually like run through everything, which is what we do here. For rarity weight in module.rarities. So this might not seem, this might seem a little bit goofy to some beginners but what this actually is is something you've probably seen before it's a for i b in list or a uh, table list is python but it's the same principle do so it's literally just a for loop with i being the index so it will go index being the left side here so common uncommon so on and so forth and value being um the number here sorry i was looking at the list for a second but if it was for variable here it would be this but basically i is index which comes first which we're assigning to rarity so it checks for the rarity here here and whatnot and so whatnot and then weight is the odds of each of these things so these are the odds of something happening um and that's the for loop and it's what we do it next i'm stuttering so bad my my fault man i had a fever last night and it's still lingering and it sucks jesus anyways uh what we do here is we have a local variable counter like i already mentioned what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the weight uh and what plus equals does is basically it just does counter equals counter plus weight that this is basically just an elongated version of this it, it's pretty simple I, I i assume you guys know this i'm just referencing it for beginners possible for beginners that are doing but anyways it will basically just add the weight of whatever thing so it will start off with mythic and it will do one it will add one to counter and then it will check to see if the random number generated is less than or equal to the counter uh so if the random number is one then it will return mythic it will return the rarity which is the index so it will return mythic so let's say our random number is let's say 80 that seems like a good number so it the random number is 80. What it's gonna do is it's for rarity weight in module.rarities. 
it will add it the weight to the ca uh, counter. So random num less than or equal to counter. 80 is not less than or equal to one. So then it will go back. It will add another 10 to the counter. So making that 11. And then 11 is still not less, or it's still not greater than or equal to 80. 80 is not less than or equal to 11 rather. So it will loop back. So add a 25. So it's 36 now. Counter is now at 36. 80 is still not less than or equal to 36. So it will add 50 to it, making it 86. And 86 is greater than 80. So 80 is less than or equal to 86, meaning it will return the epic rarity. And what we're going to do with that is we're actually going to go to the server script and start coding the server script. I'm actually just going to code this entire server script and then I'll get back to you guys. Basically what we're doing here is we are getting the module script that's underneath the script here, the thing that we've been coding. Um, and this is basically just a while uh, and for every one second, choose a new item. Obviously, if you're making a roll system, so like you obviously you just like hit a button, you roll for the thing. Um, you're gonna make it happen on a button, and you're not gonna have it be in the server script. Uh, you'll have it be in a local script and whatnot and whatever. But for this, I'm gonna have a server script, uh, in server script service. Um, and it's just gonna you know run on the server because you know why have it run locally if i don't need to uh but anyways what we do here is we do a choose rarity function which is the function we just coded local rarity equals module dot choose rarity that is choose rarity is the name of the function that we just coded here so what we do is in the server script we you know run the function and it will go through the function. It will do all of the stuff that we just did here. Let me delete the 80 here because that's not necessary anymore. And once it gets a random number, once it finds the random number that's less than or equal to the counter, like once it goes through all of this and whatnot, it will return the rarity of the item or the rarity that it chose. And that return will then be assigned to this right here. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to run another function, which I have yet to code here, but I will code it in a second, where it will actually choose the item that we want it to choose. Seems simple enough, right? I, I feel like I'm kind of fumbling on this one uh, or being a little bit confusing. I, I'm doing this in one take because I have food arriving in like a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do now or what I'm going to do now is gonna i'm gonna code the choose item function and it's actually really simple so before i go over this function i want to make sure you guys are passing the rarity that was in this script right here like this rarity variable into this function because if you don't then it won't work so you're gonna do module.choose item or whatever you're naming the function and then you're gonna run the rarity variable through the first argument and it should be the only argument that you throw, uh, throw through, or push through, rather. And then when you're calling the function, instead of just having uh, empty parentheses, you're going to call the rarity argument. After that, what you're going to do is you're basically going to index the rarity in the items table. So basically what, what this is, is once you get the rarity, let's say like we pulled an epic from our previous example, what it's going to do is it's going to push the rarity through this function, it will index the I epic uh, items table in the you know items table in this module. And then what it's going to do is it's going to use that table, the epic items table, and it is going to randomly choose an item in the items table here. So it will choose a random number, one through, and then the number of items in the items table. So in this case, it would be choosing a random number between one and two and then it will return the uh, item. So if we get a two, then we get tsunami and it will return that item. It seems simple enough, I hope, to you guys. It's not that di complicated. Uh, and then finally, what we're gonna do here in the server script is I'm just gonna print 
a rarity item and then just the name of the item so that's actually all we need to do for the backbone obviously again i'll say this again just to drill it into your skulls um this is just a backbone this is just like kind of a demonstration of how you set up an rng system uh again if you want to have your own items you want to have like auras god forbid you're making a game like that or like whatever then you're gonna have to use your own items in your own filing like file sorting system and if you're using a gui button to like actually roll the thing then you're gonna need to um you know like actually have the functions and stuff in that local script and have the module script somewhere else but yeah that's it actually for uh everything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see common item legendary item solar flare and whatnot and while that's running we can actually uh check in server scripts and i actually can't i need to go to my current server and you can see that it's still running there um and we can go into this module script and see that breeze that's a common item right here and then avalanche rare uh it is a rare item and everything and yeah, that's basically how you make an RNG system. But in all seriousness, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for the crazy support that I've been getting on this channel. It is actually insane to me. Like, I did not know this many people were interested in Roblox development. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.